Hello. Today we're going to focus on demand for insurance, specifically a type of question where we look for a consumer's willingness to pay to fully insure. This is different than our traditional setup where we look at our chart to determine where we end up on our risk preferences versus how cheap or fair or expensive insurance is. In this case, what we're trying to do conceptually is figure out how much expected utility we have if we purchase no insurance. The point at which we fully insure should at least give us as much expected utility as the point where we do not insure at all. This means that our maximum willingness to pay for insurance should be the point where we are exactly indifferent between purchasing full insurance or no insurance. Let's take a look. In this specific problem, we're looking at a loss of a ship and $200 million worth specifically. So let's take a look first at our expected utility in this question. Our expected utility in general is equal to the probability of the bad state occurring times our utility in the bad state. In this case, we're told that the square root of W is our utility function. So we can plug that in here. I'm going to make a little edit and say instead consumption in the bad state as my variable, just for clarity's sake. So the probability that the bad state occurs times the square root of consumption in the bad state plus the probability in the good state times the square root of consumption in the good state. This is our expected utility function. Plugging in some of our numbers, we can see that the probability in the bad state would be 0 0.02, or a 2% chance that his ship sinks. So let's plug that in here. 0 0.02 times root CB plus the probability that the good state occurs, which would be the other 98% of the time. So we plug in 0 0.98 times the square root of consumption in the good state. From there, we can plug in our payouts that we should expect to see in the no insurance case. So we'll say condition of no insurance. Under no insurance, in the bad state, I will be consuming only $25 million. The other $200 million is lost in the ship sinking. This means I should say 0 0.02 times the square root of 25. And we'll talk about this in millions of terms. So the square root of 25 plus 0 0.98 times the square root of 225, or the amount of consumption I have in the good state. When you do out the math, this equals to 14.8. So my expected utility in the event that I do not purchase any insurance is 14.8. Let's now compare this to my full insurance case. Here, we'll say 14.8, or my expected utility in the bad state, or rather in the state of the world where I do not purchase any insurance, is equal to 0 0.02 times some variable x, square root of that variable, plus 0 0.98 times the square root of some variable x. As a side note, what we're going to say x is, is a variable that represents that consumption in the bad state and consumption in the good state are equal to each other under full insurance. So this will be our full insurance equal to our no insurance case. So right here, this would be our no insurance. This would be our full insurance case. From there, we can add like terms and say that 14.8 will equal the square root of x. Square both sides. Our consumption in both states of the world under full insurance should be 
219.04. From there, I'm going to subtract this 219.04 from my original um, consumption in general and say that the maximum I should spend on insurance then is $5.96 million. So this should be our answer. To clarify, what we're saying is our expected utility under no insurance should be equal to our expected utility under full insurance in the event that we are trying to maximize or find the maximum willingness to pay to fully insure.